So this was a pretty good one today. That's why I uh, grabbed the millennials. They're holding the cameras and uh, jumped in the truck. Uh, uh, a lady's daughter called me and said that they had a 73 Challenger hot rod. She didn't really know much about it, but it has a, a, a big chrome motor and some nitrous is what she said. <laughs> I looked at the pictures and I was like, well, you know, that could be a good cheap hot rod. Uh, it's a good cheater car. And uh, she has no idea what it's worth and said, just come take a look at it and make her a offer. It's only like 20 minutes from the shop. So I was like, I am got some cash and I'm on my way. She's done all the paperwork to get it uh, turned over into their name because the renter that was in their building just disappeared a couple of years ago. And uh, so they went through all the proper forms and things that they needed to do here in the state of Texas to uh, get it uh, turned into a proper title. And she is ready to sell. And I'm ready to buy at a really cheap price if I can do it. Because it is a 73, it's not a 70 or 71 Challenger. And uh, it looks like a highly modified hot rod of some sort. So it's not probably going to be numbers matching or special in any kind of way. And uh, from what I can tell in the pictures, it's like bumblebee yellow and has some hideous wheels on it. I mean, just disgusting. It looked better with hubcaps. So off we go. So I just dropped her call and told her we were here. This looks like the right address. Looks like the pictures I saw. Let's see if we can't get something bought. It'd be pretty cool. Here we come. What's in the box? Well, there you go. You must be Miss Sarah. I am. Hi. Nice Richard to meet you. Rawlings, nice to meet you. So, this is it. This is it. 73, <laughs> for sure. So, what's the story? Uh, my dad and I do commercial properties, and one of the tenants just vanished on us. Just vanished, huh? Just vanished and left me a car. <laughs> Four speed, too. Whoa, heavy clutch. I don't know much about it. I don't even have keys. No keys, no nothing. You told me on the phone that uh, when the renter disappeared, you had to go through, like, uh, the normal process to yep. get the, the lien holder title or what have you. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at there. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody wanted to go fast. <laughs> it's got NOS hooked up in the back, too. It, it does look like that. Huh. Aluminum metal brock heads. But we don't know the condition of the motor. Not a thing. Hmm. And the data plate's missing. I wonder if there's one on the door. now just as much if not more about this car than I do. Wait a second, what's that? <laughs> okay, so back in 1978. Okay, well, well, I can only do one at a time, but <laughs> I want to talk about that car. That's a 190. Yeah, I like <laughs> those. Let's see. Looks fairly rust free. Inner fender wells are good. So not even a key to the trunk. Not even a key to the trunk. One of my locksmiths did open it, but then they accidentally slammed it shut and it locked again. <laughs> I've but had that. I do know it's got NOS hooked up into it, but that's about all I know. Well, there's not much to do if it won't run. It's got a pretty decent interior. Honestly, I'm just trying to get back a little bit about what they owe me from it. Rat's nest under the dash. Not like a real rat, but like it's wiring. Uh, so it's just a regular low horsepower car. Somebody turned it into a go fast car, hopefully. I wonder what uh, they did to the rear here. Well, those are some mufflers and those are some pipes. Oh, that's ridiculous. And when the tenant left, they left a Camaro that was not street legal. They left two Chevy Nova 2s that were all rust, a BMW beater car. Uh-huh. And I figured if I was going to learn how to sell a car to get money back, I was going to learn on one car that was a good one. And I picked the best of the lot. And this is a bit. Oh, that's perfect. So. It was the prettiest one, too. 
You want to hear about the 190 now? I do. Is it for, not unless it's for sale? It is. Oh yeah. Okay. So in 1978, my dad bought a project car. This would be the project car. And then two months later, he met my mom, or the lady who would be my mom, and he stopped working on it, and it sat in a warehouse for almost 40 years. Unfortunately, he he did finish fixing it up, but he passed away in October. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. And mom and I, we have no emotional attachment to the car, and we're just like, you know what? We need the warehouse space. The security center in our main business has grown too much, and we need the space. I do, do know it runs. I brought in a mechanic. Um, we put in a, a battery. The battery it had was dead, but it needed a certain dimension battery, not just the strength. I understand. So um, we brought in a battery that we knew was good, and we hooked it up, and it does purr like a kitten. We know it runs. How long ago was it restored? Uh, I think we finished two or three years ago. Yeah. yeah. But he's owned it, or y'all have owned it since 78? Since 78. So if you like do a car fax or anything on it, it won't pop up. Well, that's sometimes good. <laughs> door tags in the door where it's supposed to be. It looks like he, the tags are where they're supposed to, to be. We had to pull out almost the entire bottom for rust. Redid all that. Uh, got a lot of new parts in it that were made just for this car. The guy who redid it, it has a, he does a lot of these type cars. And he's got a bunch of connections. That's the bracket for the battery. Correct. And that's why it's in the trunk. The little boot. Up. And actually in these boxes are the little parts. Huh. The bank boxes. Okay, you stumped me on this one. I didn't <laughs> expect to walk in and, and find a little Mercedes sitting here. Surprise, bonus This car, I need to do a little check-in real quick. Do you mind if I go jump on my iPad? Yeah, go for it. Wow, I didn't expect to find that. I wonder if they know what it's worth or even care. She said they had no uh, sentimental value to it. Whew. I'm fixing to go crazy, old man, with this. So the problem with the 73 Challenger is that uh, we don't know if it runs. If we get it back and the motor's shot, well, it's only worth around four or five grand. If we get it back and the motor's good, could be worth 15 grand, you know, 12 to 15 grand. It looks pretty solid. It doesn't look like it's full of rust or cancer. The interior is nice and it's a four speed. So that's good. Now the Mercedes. There's one out here for sale for 150. There's another one for 139.95. Another one for, here's a starter one at my buddy's place out in Beverly Hills, but he wants 80 grand for it and it needs everything. I mean, it needs complete restoration. It's rusty, falling apart, missing stuff. And he's asking 80 grand. Yeah. Hey man, did you drop that car off? Yeah, yeah, Are you still up in Plano area? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna ping you with a, uh, with an address because uh, I'm gonna try to buy two cars here and if I can buy this one and I can get it at a good price, I'm going to have to get it out quick. Okay, sounds right. good. Later. Later. Sending the address, ping, ping. That was Chase. Got him coming, uh, he was dropping off a, a car up the street anyways and he's not too far from me. All right. I wish I'd have known there was two. I might have brought two car, two car trailers, but uh, actually one of my drivers is not too far away. He was dropping off something else. So let's talk about the yellow car, because okay. I know they're str drastically different <laughs> cars. What do you think this is worth? Honestly, I'm not really even sure. I, I'm just looking to get out some of what's owed to us. See, I don't know either because of the condition of the motor. Being that it's a, it's a looks like a fairly straight, kind of a crappy repaint, and it's got decent, nice interior, and it's a four speed, and five grand i don't know if it ran i would have already handed you the money <laughs> but i don't know if the motor's blown That's not a good buy uh if the motor runs even good enough to like run and drive around the block so somebody knows what they're buying then that's 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 good um i wanted to say 3500. can we meet in the middle is that that's at four yeah 
All right, that's the deal, done. I like it. All right, we got this one bought, no problem. Now, this one is a different animal, and it's a beautiful car. <laughs> I do a video of it running, if you want to see that. That's fine, I trust you on that, and we're real careful about what we do on these old cars anyways. We kind of got a process that we stepped through. How long ago was it that it ran? Uh, two weeks. Oh, okay. My father-in-law's a classic car mechanic, and he mm. came in and checked it all out, because we knew we were going to be selling it, and we just didn't know exactly when. And were there any local uh, tradesmen that helped restore it, or? Magrathia, Phil Compton. Okay. He used to be off of Floyd Circle. Okay, I know Floyd Circle. Huh. What do you think you want for this car? I think we wanted at least what my dad put into it, but I think we're going to start at like 80-ish. Wow. I really like it. Would you take 50? 65. Well, you came down 15 grand, that's... Closer to the middle. Yeah, I gotta do that, 65. Do awesome, thank you very thank much. You. Um, I'm gonna get my one trailer backed around okay. and wait for my other guy to get here, and we'll start figuring that out. I mean, and, if you got a uh, battery, you could just drive this one off. I don't have a battery, <laughs> but uh, I'd rather, we got a really s smooth process that we do, and... Uh, I will get you some money. Okay. All right. Hang tight. So there you go. Oh, and that's Chase pulling up too. What's up, dude? What's up? You're not gonna believe this. So we've got this 73 Challenger, but sitting right behind it is a 1957 190 SL. Numbers up, nice, nice car that's been restored. So uh, I made a deal for both of them and I pretty much hit my target number. So I think we've got good money in both cars. So uh, let's back up my trailer first okay uh here's the key and uh, we'll get the challenge out of the way and i'm gonna go over some paperwork with her okay dun, dun, dun. all right let's talk paperwork okay <laughs> So uh, we uh, got this one started uh, with just a little jump box. No problem there, but uh, it's gonna have a little bit more work to do and uh, what have you. But it does run and drive just like she said it would. And uh, we'll go through it real slow, real meticulous, make sure we don't mess anything. And uh, then uh, give her a good cleanup and see what she's worth. I think I'm gonna call Big Chris. He kind of specializes in running all the original numbers and making sure that they're right. Uh, and uh, have him do that and uh, we got ourselves a $65,000 190 SL that hopefully is gonna be worth 100. We'll find out. Where's the uh, stupid yellow car? I do mean stupid yellow car. We got one down running. I don't know what to tell you about this one. We ain't got a key. Got a lot to do in this space. Well, you can just short, short wire it, can't you? Yeah, we can, we can jump it over. Fine. Jump it over and then, uh, like I was saying, if you get it going, kill that. If you get it going, um, or it looks like it's gonna start. Let's back it out towards the door. Because okay. I don't know what'll fly out of this thing. Somebody wanted to go fast, that's for sure. Well, they thought they did, but this looks like some redneck engineering to me. I don't know, I guess we'll find out soon. That's for sure. All right, cool. So for four grand, it's a pretty solid body for a 73 Challenger. Now that's not a super popular year, but to me, there really isn't much difference between the 72s and the 73s, but for some reason, as they progressed, people didn't like to collect them. This one's a nice car, it's a four speed. Looks like it's got somewhat of a big motor in it. Maybe somebody wanted to go fast. They had some go-go juice on it. And uh, we'll just rip into it and see what we can get because 
running, driving, cleaned up, maybe a better set of wheels and tires. This is a good twelve, five to fifteen thousand dollar hot rod for somebody. Sold and gone, as they say on the auction block. Check it out. I picked up both these cars in the same little garage. I was going to buy this one. I wasn't expecting to find a 57 Mercedes sitting there. So we got them both sold in record time. 72 Challenger bought for 4,500 bucks, gone for 13.5. 57 Mercedes, well, I didn't make as much on that as I thought I would, but uh, we did pocket five grand. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, they're both going to new owners and new homes. And that's what we do here. We buy them and we sell them. Get you some of that. What does that mean? I made like 15 grand? Four grand? I don't even know. It's time for a beer.